So question number one, a 30 year old woman presents to her primary care provider complaining of intermittent fever and loss of appetite for the past two weeks. She's also concerned about painful genital lesions. Past medical history is non contributory. She takes oral contraceptives and a multivitamin daily. She has two male sexual partners in her lifetime and uses condoms inconsistently. She admits to being sexually active with two partners in the last three months and only uses condoms on occasions. Today, her vitals are normal. On pelvic exam, there is a red rimmed fluid filled blister over the labia minora as seen in the photograph and with swollen and tender inguinal lymph nodes which of the following is the most likely diagnosis for this patient so this is the this is what the lesions look like okay so our options are syphilis condyloma acuminata gonorrhea genital herpes and trichomonas so let's see what was going on here so genital herpes is most frequently caused by the hsv2 so you all must have heard the saying so hsv1 is above the belt it causes lesions above the belt and hsv2 below the belt so genital herpes is most frequently caused by hsv2 but it can also be caused by hsv1 this is one of the most common stds and transmission is by direct contact of the secretions of the virus containing secretions or lesions so directly coming in contact with it can transmit it symptoms include painful vesiculo ulcerative lesions on the vulva cervix vagina or, or the male penis so that's the key word here it's going to be painful and there will be vesiculo ulcerative lesions fever headache myalgias dysuria pruritus burning or swollen lymph nodes in the genital region are also seen so you will have non-specific symptoms but what you need to know here is that there will be painful swollen lymph nodes in the genital region so this, just knowing this lymph node finding can actually help you dis differentiate between um, herpes simplex virus, hemophilus, dupre, uh, based on the nature of the lymph nodes. And then there are some like syphilis, which don't have enlargement of the lymph nodes. Okay, so these swollen nodes are usually tender. The diagnosis of herpes is by PCR or serology, and there is no cure for HSV1 or 2. Treatment usually involves acyclovir or valacyclovir. Okay, so that's what these lesions were, um, vesicular ulcerative lesions. They will have a red base, painful, shallow ulcers, and they will usually be grouped, grouped ulcers. You won't see a single lesion, you'll see multiple ulcers. Okay, syphilis is associated with the formation of a single painless sore, which is called the chancre, that appears 10 to 90 days after initial infection that revolves, resolves spontaneously. This can appear in the genital lesion, mouth, or other parts of the body. So the key word here would be it's a single and painless lesion, syphilis. Okay, condyloma acuminata, these are warts. They're pretty different from the ulcers we see with syphilis and herpes. Um, they're caused by HPV. It can be found anywhere in the anal genital region, and it does not cause any painful blisters. It just causes these um, cauliflower finger-like outgrowths. Gonorrhea, usually asymptomatic in females or mild and include pain or burning while urination, yellow and sometimes a bloody vaginal discharge, bleeding between periods, pain during sex and heavy uh, bleeding during the periods. Okay, so there's no ulcer formation as such in gonorrhea, but they'll have uh, the discharge and bleeding and all of that. Trichomonas causes a green or gray vaginal discharge. Um, these are, it's often a foamy, this is, it's typically known as a foamy greenish yellow discharge with a strong odor, discomfort during sex while, while urinating and itching and discomfort in the genetic region. Once again, trichomonas does not have any ulcers. It has something called the strawberry cervix, which is what is characteristically seen in our question stems, but not ulcers. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.